All right, so this is Warplanes. I got to play this over the weekend. Um, played it multiple times. A little bit of an intro. Everybody knows it's World War I. Real basic flight controls. Simple stick, simple rudder. You got your bombs on your left. Whenever you pull out your bomb, the controls on the plane will change to like the bombing mode. So you just can't lob a fucking bomb out of your uh, plane. You notice how it just started to fly all crazy. Because you can move the stick like hard left, hard right. And the plane doesn't like bank nor like a like it normally would because when you when you grab a bomb it just goes into like bomber mode so everything changes that's, that's probably the only real complaint I have other than that sometimes you have to constantly reset the camera and if you look down you'll see that book but just get rid of the fucking book altogether so in the demo you have this is the starter mission you're not supposed to bomb like shit you're just supposed to like shoot the planes down but after doing it like four or five times I got bored and I just started seeing what I can destroy you can destroy the plane you can destroy, destroy the bridge there's a uh, tons of little buildings you can blow up so that's real fucking cool another thing I liked is you can strafe you know strafe shoot up like buildings almost fucking pull up there we go but uh the graphics are pretty solid. Um, the physics on things, when you blow up the bridge and shit, looks really cool. So this, like I said, this is the like the first mission you get thrown into. You don't get to see any like control options. There's no tutorial. They just say, "Hey, shoot down the fighters," and the fighters, I believe, are trying to like destroy artillery uh, placements. The fighters are super easy to uh, kill. On none of the missions, I've never gotten shot down by a single fi fighter in the demo. Um, they'll like shoot at you a little bit, but um, they're, they're just there to be like, you know, easy kills. The difficulty so far in the demo is, is if there is any at, at all, it, I haven't noticed. But the, the cool thing is like, you'll take damage. If you look on the, the left side of the little book, you'll see your little plane is completely, uh, you know, clear. When you start taking damage, that'll start turning uh, red. Some different parts of the plane will start turning red. And you'll actually see like bullet holes and shit inside your like wings on your, your f fuel slodge. It gets pretty, um, the graphics are pretty like solid like I said. Um, if you look at your wings when you pull up, you'll see your flaps move and shit. So there's like a lot of like a uh, little detail that went into this game and I really appreciate it. I never got motion sickness at all playing this. Uh, it only crashed once, but then who knows if it was the game or the quest. Uh, every game I've ever played on the, the quest headset sooner or later has like some kind of crash. It wasn't like a hard crash where you had to reset your, your quest or anything. It just like kicks you back out of the options and you had to jump back into the game. It does that on a lot of things. Um, the machine guns, you see how I like I cock the handles, they, they kind of I guess overheat or you have to reload, I don't know why, I think that's just to stop you from spamming the machine guns and like killing planes one after another. I don't mind it, it gives, it adds to the like difficulty of the game, but the uh, like the, the lens flare from the sun is really good, the sky looks really good, uh, you can fly really close to the ground. All the stuff, like the trees, will be flattened and everything, but uh, you're not really going to notice that shit flying to the ground. So after you finish the mission, this is where you end up. You have six planes that you can buy. You're not giving enough money to buy all of them or the higher end ones. In the demo, you can only do two missions, and after you do the second mission, which you pick off the map, all the missions lock up and you have to reset. It's pretty much stopping you from buying the nice plane because for every two missions you do you get a medal and there's a screen with all the uh the medals like an upgrade screen you'll see later and you can like make your planes cheaper you can make your co-pilots smarter like better pilots uh there's all types of like little upgrades and stuff and every plane is when it comes to the skins, you can customize just about everything. You can change all the colors. It's really fucking cool. 
Um, you can upgrade your machine guns, you can upgrade the engines, you can upgrade the guns. Um, that probably already said the guns. Um, almost like the turning ability of the plane. You can upgrade the, the pilots. The one thing I really fucking like is you can buy multiple planes. See, here's all the like upgrades and stuff. It all costs money. It's all in great uh, game currency. If you buy like two planes, and you can do this in the demo... You'll, you'll see two boxes when you click on your plane. Like, uh, I don't really show it that well. But, you, all right, all right there. You see fly to combat, and then it'll say commander's plane. Click on the commander's plane. That's the plane you're going to fly. And if you go on the other plane, and you click the fly into combat, another guy will fly, the uh, NPC will fly your other plane. So you'll actually have a co-pilot and shit in there. And here's all the custom the color stuff. You can make them the colors real dark or real bright. Um, you can change the patterns so you can get like camo patterns or just lines. All kinds of goofy shit. All the big paint brushes are just like st where you can put more stickers and shit like that. Um, completely co cosmetic. It doesn't really do change anything about the plane. But you, you can make your plane look as fucking ridiculous as you want. I spent like 20 minutes fucking around. And you can paint your your um, your wingman's plane and shit so you can see him better. But I really like this idea. It's adding a lot of like, you know, uniqueness. Um, I haven't seen anything about co-op. I don't think there's any co-op at all. There is a weird gift system where you can either send money or you can send a plane to like a friend. And you'll say activate gift and it'll give you a number and you write down the number and you'll let's say give it to your friend. So I guess if your friend sucks at the game and can't beat a level, you can send him a plane that he normally wouldn't be able to buy if he's stuck. Or you can send him money so he can upgrade his shitty plane. Um, I don't know if like if you upgrade a plane all the way and then send it, will the upgrade still stay? I have no idea because none of my friends play this game so I haven't been able to like experiment too hard with all that but that's kind of a cool idea to like help your friend out and stuff but uh, I don't know if it's like almost like cheating in a sense where it's like well you're real good and you suck so here's like top tier playing with all the upgrades and the bells and whistles and shit <clears throat> so there's like the more of the upgrades and stuff and there's a plane shop where you can go and buy whatever plane you want. You can walk around all the planes. It's really cool. Some of the planes will have like two machine guns. Some of the planes will have one machine gun. There's like your your bi, I guess they call bifold planes or you know what one wing, two wings or three wings like the Red Baron. You could walk around this little area. The graphics aren't aren't bad. Um, I'm they're surprisingly really well and to me, the game is pretty polished. I really do like it. And that's the map on the right. And those are the three, pretty much the three missions you have is... There's one where you're bombing boats. There's one where it's a night mission. You have to protect the uh, artillery emplacements. And then there's one where you're just, you know, you, you're, you're, a, you're going there to, to shoot down more planes. And it's just like a fighter mission. There's in-game tips. Uh, teach you, this is the like gift thing, right here. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. Take it or leave it. To me, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're helping out a friend who sucks. I guess is, is kind of good. But I mean, it's cool. You can send a whole fucking plane. And the settings, you know, you can change the language. I kept it because I was on when the demo. You're the Germans. So you can turn the German, I guess, the voice off and they'll speak in English. So here's the one of the missions you can play when you're bombing the uh, the boats. I really like when you get near the boats that they throw like flak and shit at you. You can strafe shoot them or you can use the bombs. The one complaint I do have is I have to reset the camera a lot. Because, I don't know why, if you're leaning in and then you lean back, it kind of messes up the camera position. When I try to reach for the bombs, I end up hitting my leg. 
and I don't know, you just have to reset the camera, I don't know why it does that. And other than that, the game is super fun. I believe it's only $10 for the first get, for, for the full game, and they're already planning on adding like more missions and shit. Um, so you're going to have 12 planes total, 6 of the Germans, uh, 6 on I guess the Allied side. I don't know if you're going to be like French or England. Uh, you'll probably be maybe England, I don't know. The map looks really beautiful. The night fight mission is really cool. You'll see that later. Um, I just wish you could move that fucking book completely out of the way or like turn it off because it just, it's so stupid. Oh, pull up. No, barely made it. You can see all the bullet holes in the wings and shit. I really like that. Let's see if I can, it's see like it's a bitch when you're doing the bombings because if your stick is moved, once you drop that bomb, the controls move back to the stick, and your plane just fucking jets all over the place. I tried to do some like like uh, barrel rolls and stuff, but the I don't think those planes back then were really good at doing that stuff. And there's no like foot pedal controls, so you know you're just it's real bare bones basic. You can also use the actual uh, analog stick on the left controller to move the plane and to adjust the um, the throttle and shit. But man, it, it's this is I've played a few flight sims in VR and this is probably one of the, the better ones I've done with the like actual missions that matter like the, the bombing missions and stuff like that your guns lock up you can re recock them the explosions are really good having the flak come at you is so cool the flare gun is I'm guessing is meant for like the zeppelins when you fly past enemy zeppelins you can hit him with the flare gun and it blows up the zeppelin. I tried shooting my own zeppelins. The flare just went through him. It, it didn't do anything. This is a different plane you can see. It's only got the one machine gun. Move that fucking book out the way. It's got no bombs on it. So it's just like a dedicated uh, fighter. And if you see, you can see that on my little hood there, there's two pictures of two different planes. One plane that I'm in and then there's my co-pilot. And I'm guessing if you buff up your, there goes my co-pilot, like, cutting right in front of me as I'm shooting. He actually, I've never seen the, uh, your allied guy shoot down a plane, but I've seen him do some damage to other, uh, planes. We'll see that probably a little later. But it's cool because some of the missions, you're, like, eight versus one, and eventually they're gonna, like, take you out. Again, like, I haven't been shot down by any of the fighters. I've been shot down by some of the bomber planes. Because the bombers have a tail gunner. And the tail gunner is fucking, like, spot on. Like, if you come straight at behind a plane that has a tail gunner, he's going to light you the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know why they're so good, but everybody else is kind of so bad. Maybe it's the shitty planes they're in. I mean, look at the... I think they're, like, scout planes or something. But the, the bomber, the bom tail gunner bombers have lit my ass up. And really, all you have to do is either come from under or come from up at top where they can't get the angle on you. And you can easily get them down. I got killed like twice messing with them. Um, I like, I, you, you should die. You should die. And you can see on my wings, you can see bullet holes and stuff. You can see the flaps working. I really like this, the, this plane. On the next mission, I'll fly a different one. And they all have, like, a different feel to them. And when you upgrade the machine guns and stuff, the machine guns can fire for, like, longer before they need to, like, reset. And having more armor, really cool. You can see that the my co the other pilot guy, lit this bitch up and he's smoking. So they, they do do something. It's just, like, bare minimum. I just like shooting the fucking flare like a goofball. This is the, to me, the hardest match. This is the night mission. This is where you have to protect your little, uh, your little arty, which are those blue marks back there. 
and the uh, the flak man lights those motherfuckers up. I love the flak. Um, I'm probably gonna buy this game this weekend. I have to make more space on the fucking headset, and I gotta finish. I gotta finish the other games I have, but I, I do plan on like buying this. To me, this is definitely for ten dollars. You're getting ten planes. You're gonna get a ton of missions. Plus, they're gonna throw in a whole new, I think, a map. And there's supposed to be, I believe, weather effects. The night mission is great. I'd love to see, like, uh, snow or rain. Maybe some lightning effects. I don't know how much they can do or can't do. But to me, the, even though you're pretty much fighting on the same map, you know, with the train, you hear the train from way down there. It's really, to me, it's, it's probably the best fucking flight sim game on the quest especially on the side quest i don't know why quest hasn't picked this shit up and put this on their main store uh, they're so fucking lazy and so so bitchy and picky about fucking the games when side quest right now has all the better games you can see the the city right there the little town they have the lights going when you start flying closer you'll see the, the the flak and shit go up it's really good there you go they really don't like those motherfuckers overall i think this is a really good game and for ten dollars you know if you like flying sims this is gonna be i don't know how you can't not buy this I mean, there, there's no, nothing else on the quest right now that comes close to this as a flying game. There, there's nothing. I, do, I want to do a bombing mission where I have to fly into the city and hit the, the flak and shit like that. It looks so much fucking fun. Let's see, there's a part where the tail gunners kind of light me up a little bit. And with, with planes that are like further out, you have to like, um, you have to obviously lead your shots. Your rounds will actually hit them. This gun I, I upgraded a little bit, and I think I upgraded the armor. You can see the rounds coming back, and I dive. That's, that's from the tail gunners. They'll fucking light you up, so don't come straight at them. If you come under, it's probably like the easiest. And when you're fighting the fighters, you know, come up from the sky and, and kind of get the dive on them, and you'll light them up. But the tail gunners, man, they don't fuck around. They'll, they'll shoot you down. And so far in all the missions, you're, like, severely outnumbered, which I kind of like because, you know, you want a lot of targets to shoot down and shit. I would love to see this, like, in co-op. Co-op or maybe, like, a like a two-on-two. -two. I don't know if they could do it or not. I don't know if the, the quest can handle, like... Uh, a multiplayer version of this, but man, it, it'd be fucking sweet. Watching the Artie go up, uh, the Flak go up after the planes is so cool. And they, they do damage. The Flak fucking does damage. If you fly too close to the uh, the boats and the, the boat mission, they'll, they'll light you up. The atmosphere is like uh, spot on. Listening to the uh, the voice from the, the German guy, who I guess is you when you get hit. Like, I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but he, he freaks out sometimes when he gets hit. He gets hit and he just screams. It's great. I really want to see what the, the Allied planes look like. Other than that, I really recommend the game. Uh, if you're not sure, the demo's out there. The demo you have, you're pretty much getting four missions. You're not going to be able to play all the planes because it's a demo, but the, the three planes you can pick and play from, you can upgrade, you know, a little bit. You can upgrade the engines. You'll have enough money to do something. You don't have to take the co-pilot in the missions, too, and save yourself some money and not buy, you know buy another plane just for the hell of it and just upgrade the one plane you get or go for the most expensive fighter that you can go for and try to upgrade it to the, the best of your ability 
You know, you can do all these missions and try to solo. I soloed this one. It's, it's not that hard. It just... You have to drop all your fighters first, then kind of, you know, go after the uh, bombers and just, just make sure you're either coming from the top or coming from the bottom. But for, for a quest game, this is really good. And like I said, if you're into, like, war games and you're into the, the War I um, fighters, there's nothing else out there. And there's nothing that, none of the, the flight sim games that I've seen, you know, you're getting in a jet or something and you're just flying around, you're not doing any combat. It's like, who gives a fuck about just flying around? And you want to, you want to get into the shit. You want to see the flak. You want to, you want to get lit up. You want to light people up. You know, you want all that. <laughs> Let's shoot the fucking flare at him. Take that! It does absolutely nothing. But you can see the flare go for a little while. It's pretty cool. I see his fucking gun tagging me. You see a little red on the, the plane. Yeah, the tail gunners don't fuck around. But, just like a demo, it's kind of short. But like I said, I recommend this. Give it a try. The demo is free. Get four missions. And it's only $10. Alright? Alright, take care. Bye.